Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Steve, and this is the official channel for Third Coast Custom Helmets. For those of you joining us for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Um, so what do we got going on today, guys? Well, as you can tell, I've got some parts laying here. We're going to be doing a build. Um, this build is actually one that a, a few guys, a few of you guys I know, have been waiting on. Um, so we're going to knock it out today. So let's get to it guys. So first we're going to start with Sports Star, our custom blacked out Sports Star chin strap. As you guys know, um, if you follow me long enough, you know, I use Sports Star uh, chin straps exclusively. Um, they're based here in Houston and I just love, I just love using the Sports Star chin strap. It's, it, to me, it's the best looking one. Um, obviously it's the best in the business. Um, you know, I can customize them. I can do whatever I need. Plus they're local. So that helps a lot. I can just drive over there, pick up what I need and be on my way. So anyways, we've got a custom blacked out with a red, uh, shock stop on the front there. We got the black splitters. We've got the black foam, the GX4 gel foam, which I prefer. I always use gel foam, gel pads my builds and the new straps with the embossed sports star logo really nice and the metal snaps just a standard sports star snaps all four sometimes on these builds with the black uh, chin straps i do use the black snaps but on this this one um i just went standard and just used the uh, steel snaps. Okay, so next we've got our, as you can tell by the face mask, for those of you that are familiar with it, y'all may wear one to play in. Um, we're doing a shut today. Uh, we are standard uh, shut, uh, chromed out, red chrome face mask, V E G O P face mask comes with a shut vengeance. Um, I've also put ahead Put on, went ahead and put on the face mask clips just to save a little bit of time. Put that on all four clear clips. All this is going to be going on this custom red chrome shut vengeance shell. The entire thing has been chromed out. So, last but not least, who is this for? Well, this is for these guys, the VC Crusaders out of Burbank, California, Village Christian, uh, Village Christian High School. Um, so we've got the back bumper, we've got the front bumper, that the focus there, front bumper, our center stripe, it's a blade right there, sword blade, pretty nice, US flag, goes on all the helmets I build, and our sides, chrome, black, red and white vc colors got these in chrome really nice and gonna look really nice on the chrome helmet so with all that out the way let's get this build started and for those of you that don't know these videos are unedited raw and unedited so they do tend uh to run long than your average video longer than your average video so feel free to fast forward rewind uh, whatever you need to do to get through it uh just but I just want to let you guys know that I don't edit these videos, so what you see is what you get. So with that being said, let's get going. So we're going to do the center stripe first. And so we're going to start about uh, probably about half an inch above the bumper. So the big end is going to go in the front. Okay. 
We just line it up at the line right there. You can use that for a guide. We're going to line it up. Okay. And just straight down the center. Basically, use my thumb as a squeegee to get all that air. Air pockets out. You don't want any air stuck underneath the decal because it just does not look good. And even though they're going to be playing in these, you won't be able to see them, obviously, unless you're right up on it. It just... It just doesn't look good. <laughs> so I try to do it whether there's a collector's helmet or they're going to be playing in it. Get all the air out. So if you've got air, it could cause problems down the road with the weather if you're going to be playing in it. Okay, so just like that. That's on there. Give it one more push. Okay. There we go. See that? Next, we're going to put on the front bumper. VC. Village Christian. And for those of you guys that don't know, maybe you're familiar with it, maybe you're not familiar with the VC. They're actually rebuilding their football program. So this is the look they're going to be going with. Um, so if you happen to be playing for VC next season, y'all going to be looking really good. So we're going to put the back on. Crusaders. Peel that right off there cover up the shut she line it up straight Smash it down. There we go. Crusaders. Now we're going to do the logos, the side logos. Actually, you know what? Let's do the flag. Let's get the flag out of the way. So this is going to go on the bottom left here. up okay Just that now we're gonna do logos let's do the left side same thing just use just roll it on don't just slap it on um, and since this one has these vengeance have a little crease in them uh, when you lay a decal over it, sometimes it tends to leave an air pocket. So for me to combat that, I actually have a heat gun right here. And I'll just heat up the decal. Not too, with the chrome, you've got to be really careful because if you get too close with the heat gun or even a hair dryer, you will ruin the chrome. I learned that the hard way. So just... You know, keep about what, 10, inch, 10, inch, 10 inches away, heat it up so it's a little soft, a little softer. That way when it goes over the uh, the edge here, the ridge here, it'll lay flat and it won't leave that little air pocket when, when it crosses over the bump. So just heat it up for a couple seconds, that's all it takes. And actually, I could just heat it up from the back. And then, it's nice and soft. Just that's plenty, and I can already feel it getting soft on me. Line it up, 
Make sure your helmet's straight. And just roll it on, just like that. See, there you go. So softer, so you can see just it lays just perfect. No bubbles, no nothing. And then it's the same way with the stripe, just use your thumb or your, one of your fingers. Just go back and forth. Basically, just use it as a squeegee. Get all that air out of there. You don't want any bubbles, any air caught underneath that decal. So we're going to knock that out. Push that down. go village christian now let's do the left side i'm sorry the right side same thing applies we're going to heat it up a little bit like the other one. Sure straight. There we go. Mash it down. air out of there. over it one more time make sure we got it all all the edges good to go all right cool so now before we put on the face mask we're gonna put on our sports star chin strap and when I do it I always like to have the logo on the bottom um, I know some of you guys don't like the logos um, me I always have the logos on this trap. Um, you can actually get them blank. They'll just flip them. TV straps, no branding. But I like the branding, so I think it looks nice. So I always get that. Make sure it's on the bottom. I'm just gonna snap it in. One. Sometimes these new new snaps can be a little stubborn. Should always have a mat, especially if you're using chrome. Just want to scratch it up. Of 
for that one didn't really snap but it's on okay there we go last step face mask here we are really easy just line it up i always like to do the top first just screws This one, other side. Same thing. That one in. Do the sides and be sure when you put them on always they don't go like this <laughs> this the clips that they go in they point out I mean and I'm sorry they point in not out sometimes I'll get a mask a helmet with the mask attached like that and it just makes me scratch my head so just so you guys know this in there just line it up Screw. Okay, we'll do the other side, same thing. Tighten it down. Make sure that's lined up. Oh. So I should should have lined it up before I tightened it down. It's a little bit off center. Fix that. There we go. There we go. Just tighten it down. This side. There we go, guys. Village Christian High School. All done. There we go. And for those of you guys wondering why is there a big gap back here, uh, that was done on purpose. They're actually going to put jersey numbers back here. Um, obviously, I can't put them on. Um, I don't know who's going to be who, who, what jersey number, so they just said leave them blank and we'll take care of that. So that's why that's blank. But other than that, it's all done. I will be posting this up on our social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Third Coast Custom Helmet on all of them. So 
we are done for today guys and other than that we're done so until next time guys we'll see you later bye bye